Happy New Year and welcome to 2021's first episode of the Definitive Crusade. As always, I am your host, Johnny the Machine Hughes, and joining me from across the pond, no lockdown's going to stop us. It's my uh, co- crusading companions. It's the random dude, Josh and Freya. Freya, how's it going? We missed you over New Year. Yeah, well, I was kind of busy, so. <laughs> ah. Hey, you know what? No problem with that at all. Did you both have a good Christmas and New Year and holiday time? Yep. Good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. I know that's quite like you know quite non-committal there. So I think we'll. Uh, I think that's. I think that's podcast and code for don't ask, don't tell. So we better move sharply <laughs> along. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's twenty twenty one. It's January, of course, for the DC Universe. It is the two month event extravaganza that is future state um this time around we're going to focus this week we've had six six future state books we're going to focus on a few of them before we talk about some notes all right are you guys all right with that Mm -hmm. all right excellent let's get the party started first up then is probably the one that's maybe garnered the most news i think I don't know. I think it's a 50 50 tie. But um, if anything, 51 49. Uh, Future State, the next Batman, uh, number one. <laughs> what? 51 49. Uh, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like that was referring to something that shall not be mentioned. But I'm. Um, actually, no, I didn't. I was just saying it. I apologize. Oh, okay. Perfectly. Okay. Perfectly. For the uh, element um all right so we've got ah dear me i am not inciting anyone to go storm a comic book store for this book all right let's just get that out of the way um so next batman number one and uh, um written by john ridley the fourth um there's a do it's a duo of this it's a dynamic duo of a story so you've got outsiders as a backup which is written by brandon thomas the art for the batman stories by nick derrington Whose work you would have seen on Batman Universe a while back. Uh, the Outsiders is Sumit Kumar. Um, the Outsiders ha- also has inks by uh, Kumar and Raul Fernandez. Colors on the main Bat book are by Tamara Bonvillain, who we saw recently on Wonder Woman. Um, for the Outsiders, it's the incomparable Jordi Belair, who we saw recently on Batgirl. Um, letters, it's an event book. It's going to be Clayton Cowles. It's the way it works. Um, and for the outsiders, you've got Steve Wands. There you go. A plethora of uh, of talent. We're going to focus, I think, on probably the next Batman uh, element before we move on to outsiders briefly. Um, Freya, as you missed the last pod, you can go first. What do you think of the next Batman? Is this a, an interesting take for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the end of the pod. See you later. Yeah, Bye. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Right. So I know I'm supposed to be nice and whatnot this year, but that's not going to freaking happen when you're making whoa, me read whoa, this. Whoa, whoa. Was that was that your <laughs> resolution? Be nice. <laughs> Nicer. That's Not-ness. that's not no. That's <laughs> no, not with this. Like, well, to be fair, you didn't pick the Harley book to look at, so that's you know that. That's no, nice I did. I picked one thing. You crazy. <laughs> Old man. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm not old, but the books are. There you go. Oh, <laughs> that, that was the <laughs> next on the old timers comic book show. <laughs> Frey called you know. Johnny Old. Let's let me just cross Frey off my guest list for that pod. Uh, so, uh, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. Uh, but oh god, like I I hated this book. And not because it's Tim, because I don't give a crap about Tim Fox, honestly. Um, but it's just, even the Harley book had better quality than this. And that's sad, because it's freaking Harley. <laughs> you know? And this is Batman. It kind of felt like, I don't know, I didn't like the art style, because one thing on page nine, when you know the kids are joining the, I guess, mm-hmm. the Bane gang... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the Santa Christians. <laughs> it's a little, <laughs> but um, yeah, you see what they're like. Kind of in a, they have dots for eyes and a mouth. And I was like, but they're the main focus in the panel. <laughs> it's just like what the fuck that I'm like, what is his art style? 
Because they're constantly doing it. It's just so apparent with these kids. Um, and then it kind of does that stuff with other characters. It's just... Uh, I, I don't know what happened with the art. It, I'm not going to say it's lazy because, well, I don't freaking know. But it's an art style I do not like. Um, and I don't have enough time to nitpick everything that I have issues with in this. Um, Story-wise, it was also really boring because a whole lot of nothing happens in one book. It's just like, I know they're trying to set things up, but guess what? This is, you don't have to jump to these random kids joining a gang for like, parts yeah. of it too because that's a waste of space it, it felt like a fluffy it, and it, like you said it's only two months and it feels like it's one of those filler episodes in a tv show that they're just using it to kill space but i'm like but this is the book this is there's only mm. two months of these books and it's just fluff and that's all it is and there's no story there's no there's no like villain set up or anything it's just mm -hmm. you know uh him going <laughs> I am Batman. I'm like, okay, that's nice. You know, just because you put the suit on doesn't exactly make you Batman. Otherwise, all of those uh, fake Nightwings would be Nightwing. You know, <laughs> it isn't true. Just because you put the costume on doesn't. It, it would be like the episode where Joker. What was that? The 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 Batman where Joker puts on a Batman costume and then starts yeah, running Batman around and acting like Batman. Yeah, yeah. Does that yeah, mean Joker's yeah, yeah. Batman too? He's wearing the suit. He must be but Batman. Hey, I just I just want to point out that I'm glad that doesn't work because you know I wore my Wonder Woman onesie for the Wonder Woman '84 pod and I ain't Wonder Woman. I'm saying that. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's I'm just still the, scarred from that, Johnny. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's just kind of one of those things that like it's fine if another character becomes Batman, but he has to freaking deserve to be Batman. You don't just throw whoever you feel like into the the cape and cowl like that's my main issue is like i'm fine mm -hmm. with someone else being batman but they have to at least feel like they deserve to be batman not right, somebody okay. who wants to go cosplay as batman and start fighting crime because i want to be batman no you have mm -hmm. to i would have been i'm just upset they didn't make duke batman you know right, okay. Okay. like they have this character who could have easily been you know and people would have been fine with him and but then we get uh, uh, Lucius's son. I'm like, okay, and why is he Batman? What makes you know what makes him qualified to be Batman? We because he's like, we might because find out next issue. Might yeah, find well, out next they, issue. maybe they should have done that in the first issue because you know we only have two months of these books and they're already wasting time with these fluffy, no nonsense books. Also, with the secondary story, this is a Batman book. Why are we having another story inside the Batman book? I mean, I like Katana and all, but like, <laughs> it, it, it just felt like, and then now we have Duke and he's running around with a mask on, which I don't, whatever, that's on him. And then even after that, we have another story. It, it didn't even feel like a Batman book. It felt like, a, you know, one of those annuals where they're like, oh, we're all just going to just shove a bunch of different stories inside of here. Because right, okay. it, it's just kind of ridiculous. And why are the Arkham people all of a sudden heroes? That's what I got from it. Like, why is Two-Face in this stupid onesie, you know, Power Ranger, you know, I'm a part of a team now type of thing. Why Why are they fighting crime? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there is such a lot going on. All right, okay. So it is a two-month thing, but do you think, I suppose this is a question for everybody, but Josh, you can probably take a swing at it first. Do you think there's longevity in the next Batman? Do you think we'll start seeing um, a kind of next Batman chronological book that comes out i think so i mean they've made a big hoopla but because of you know the joker war and bruce losing all of his money and catwoman giving all of bruce's fortune to the foxes and now they're using it to maintain the crusade and blah 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 mm -hmm. So I don't see the next Batman going away anytime soon. Uh, I see him sticking around quite a bit. Uh, it may be he'll be around as long as, say, as Bat. Ah, okay. So, I mean, the idea behind, <clears throat> behind these books is that this is the unwritten future of the DC Universe. Mm -hmm. So, theoretically... You know, if we want to take a leaf out of uh, those that shall not be named, Days of Future Past, which was 
the desperate future of the um, the mutant world. Mm-hmm. How many different futures have we had for that world already? You yeah. know, so there's there's nothing concrete on this. So I suppose the powers that be with DC have an opportunity to try something new, and if it works, they can run with it as like an alternative timeline, like a multiverse book. Or if it doesn't work, and there it goes. Yeah, um, it'll be a crumple it up, toss it, and have Barry Allen reset the timeline again because that's <laughs> the DC motto. Damn it, Barry. Damn it, Barry Allen. Um, so Freya brings up a good point that you know you can't just put on put on the the mask and say say you're Batman, but to play devil's advocate, would you say that he deserves the to be the Batman just as much as Gene Paul Valley did? Um, I think if if you want to play a devil's advocate and if that why, question why, is why, why didn't Dick Grayson get it? Why, you know, yes, we know the story that Bruce said that Dick wasn't ready, and that's why I gave it to Gene Paul Valley. But in this scenario, why didn't Lucius give it to Dick? Yeah, well, that's a good question. I would I would say it's back in the day they put a lot of effort in creating Jean Paul Valley to become the, the next bat or as bats. Um they put a lot of time in it <clears throat> with the mini series, and then obviously his introduction into the main continuity. That was a progression. Um, this guy, other than last month, the last time he appeared was back in the seventies, late seventies, early eighties, and it's you know I I, I own his first appearance, mm-hmm. and then the book skyrocketed. It's crazy. Um, he's had no massive impact from there on in. So. I think Freya, not to speak for Freya, because Freya is more than capable of, you know, yelling at me as much as the next person. Um, <laughs> with me and my old head. Um, it's very much, um, I kind of agree with Freya. They haven't put the effort into into the, the Y-Fors for this. With Jean-Paul Valley, they put the Y-Fors in. It was in the book for about a year before he ends up becoming, becoming as bats. This guy's just like, hey, look at me. I'm the eldest son returned from wherever. Boom. You Batman, you know. Yeah. It, logically, if if Lucius was going to do something like that, it, it'd be better off hanging off to 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 Luke. But we all know that Luke doesn't sell comic books. He might sell Mandalorians, but he doesn't sell. Uh, he doesn't. Sell, oops, spoiler. Uh, but he doesn't sell. <laughs> does not sell Batman books. Yeah. Batwing does not sell. So, and as for Dick Grayson, why didn't take the bat the the call at that time? Is He's his own person by then. He was, he'd, he'd moved on, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, there there was a small stint where he was Batman, and mm-hmm. honestly, I thought he did a great job during that. There's been a couple of stints. There's a prodigal after the, the Nightfall story, mm-hmm. and of course, uh, the Batman and Robin when Batman got zapped by Darkseid. So there yeah. you go. There's, there's more than a couple of times when um, Dick's been... But um, this book, Josh, you agree with Ray? Does it not work for you, or...? Yeah, I mean, I went into this as I would any number one. It's having to set the stage, provide all the info, blah 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 blah. This is, <laughs> it's the future state of what we have to, what we have to look forward to. If I want to be optimistic, okay. But again, I I also agree with Freya. It felt like a filler issue. I feel like there were moments, um, artwork-wise, I didn't notice the the just like the the page, face with no nose. Page seven's my favorite. The bottom panel of page seven, where you see a cross section of his nose, and there's no nostrils. There you go, back one. <laughs> yeah. Page seven, yeah. next page, next page. There you go, no yeah. nostrils. I mean, he's wearing the full face cowl now. How's he breathe through that? And don't well, tell me Spider-Man's been doing it for years. He doesn't well, have any mouth. He doesn't have a mouth at all either in like any of the shots. Well, There's and, no and you look at here. Let me see if I can. I want, I want to zoom in on this panel uh, specifically because uh, this police officer, he got. You, remember how we gave crap about Jessica Cruz's Gumby hand? Uh huh. This poor GCPD officer, he got the shit end of the stick with the uh, 
the face because it was just like, and <laughs> there you go. Here's your face, dude. You know, maybe that's the guy that gave Trey that ticket. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that explains it. He was GCPD, dumber than bricks. <sighs> Uh, it's so, it, his face is so bad. I have to zoom in over three hundred percent to be able to see this. It, it's, it's not his face that's so bad. It's the fact that his shoulders so are dislocated. Just look at that shoulder. He's left <laughs> his right shoulder. It's like his arms down here. So, anyway, yeah. art picking aside. Art picking aside. I quite enjoyed this book. I thought it had a bit of a year one feel, if anything. Because it was kind of like that whole first mission of the new Batman. Um, Nick Derrion's art, I didn't like it on Batman Universe. At least here he's trying to move away from the mainstream look. And yeah, I get there's there's going to be foibles like dots for eyes and stuff like that. I get yeah. it. Yeah, but generally speaking, I came away with this book um, a lot more open-minded than I expected to be with one glaring question. And it's probably the wrong uh, time for this question, but what's the point? What I, I don't understand the point of of having making all this fuss to make an African American Batman. I know people will tell me it's about diversity, and it's about this, and it's about that, and that's all well and good. And it totally is, and I I agree with this. I agree there should be diversity in comic books, but does it mean you have to supplant one thing? For another in favor of well i'm i'm always of the opinion of create a character i'm with but, you on this player. i'm with you on this but here's the thing and i'm not calling anyone particular out but actually creating a good character is difficult for some people so mm -hmm. they have to try to use an already popular ip and that's okay. why they do it. But then they anger the fans, and then all of a sudden the, the fans are racist. I'm like, no, the fans like this character because it is who it is. Yeah, exactly. You know? I mean, I've, <laughs> as you said, Freya, I'm old. I'm old. I've lived my entire <laughs> life with Bruce Wayne yeah. as Batman. To me, Bruce Wayne is Batman. No matter yeah. how many times you tell me that this new guy, who whoever it is, is is Batman. I, it doesn't bother me. You can you can make it Dick, you can make it Duke, you can make it Jess, you can make it Tim, you can make it Cass, you can make it whoever the hell you like. You can make it um you can make it this guy. I don't care. I've been around and all my life Bruce Wayne's Batman. Mm -hmm. And if people start getting on my case about this, before we move on to the next book, let me ask you this question. If it's so important to make Batman black why can't the Black Panther be white? Yeah, or Asian. Yeah, what's or, it, it's yeah. kind of it's it's one of those things that it, it's not. This isn't a, really a mantle because Bruce Wayne is Batman. Even when Dick Grayson picked up the cowl, like he wasn't really Batman per se. He was just you know taking over the cowl for a little bit he until Batman came back. He, he was, was a Batman. Batman. But, but he's always Nightwing to me, even when he yeah. is putting on the thing. And it's the same thing when Superman put on the cowl in the, um, the animated stuff, because Batman and <laughs> Bruce Wayne got, went missing. And so Robin called up Superman to, you know, help him. But it didn't, I mean, I didn't refer to, like, Clark as Batman, because he wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't yeah, Batman. Yeah. That was such a great episode. <laughs> it was a great episode. I love that episode. But it's the same thing. And my thing is, is we can create diverse characters. You just have to, you know, not do the whole... Because Jessica Cruz is a great character. People love Jessica Cruz. But and she was created. Yeah, but they've, um, they've thrown her away. Mm -hmm. Well, they shouldn't be. Same with Simon. When was the last time you saw Simon in a comic book? And, and that's the problem, is they don't want to take the time. Because, of course, new characters aren't going to be as popular as, like, Bruce Wayne and, you know, Diana and Clark, because those guys have been around since the 1940s. Of course, mm -hmm. no one's going to be as popular as them. You have to start small and create these characters, but you don't just abandon them when they're not selling the same amount as Batman books, because that's stupid. They're new. Mm -hmm. People so... aren't used to the characters yet. They haven't, like, they haven't created an attachment to them. So you have to stick with these characters and then, you know, hope that they get popular and write them well, because otherwise... It's just a waste of time because you're not, you don't really care that it's all a facade because 
if you really cared, you would stick with the characters that you've created and be like, you know, th- th- I'm going to stick with it because I believe that they can be popular. Mm-hmm. And don't go the freaking way that poor Batwoman went with her book because people like Batwoman, but they don't like yeah. having her relationships be the forefront of the book because people don't even like that with Bruce Wayne. Yeah. If his relationship was every single book of him like reminiscing about this girlfriend or that girlfriend, no one would buy the freaking books because no one cares. We you get know, like, tired of Vicki Vale and Kim Basinger. Yeah, it'd be like, oh, I remember when I took Vicki Vale here. Or, oh, I remember when Selena and I did this here. Or, I remember when, you know, <laughs> and I had a thing here. Or, you know, well, then, it be then, so it'd be, then it'd just be another Spider Man book, you know, him reminiscing about MJ. Um, All right. All right, all right. Let's draw a line to this. We're getting too Marvel. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> let, let me let me ask you this to to end on the the diversity thing. So you know Freya's point really kind of described Harley. That you know they created Harley very small role. Harley grew in popularity. They stuck with it. Now. To go to the the diversity aspect, who would you say was the better? How do I say this? I'm just gonna. I'll just say it the way it's in my head. Who makes a better Black Batman, the the new Batman, or Wayne Williams from Just Imagine if Stanley created DC? So the problem is, is that I haven't really got too much from this Batman because, like I said, even this issue. It kept jumping to other people besides him, so I can't even say because there's there's nothing to compare it to. He he did one like two things. Oh, well, so did the other one, but <laughs> yeah, I know. But my question is why why do you need to have why do you need to have? I'm not. I, I look. I've opened the kind of worms. I didn't mean to. That's okay. um, diverse characters that can work. I tell you who's really good at this. Marvel's really good at it. We're saying it a lot. Mm-hmm. Their Wolverine, the all new Wolverine with the X23, very good read. Lady mm-hmm. Thor, very good read. Yeah. Spider Woman. Current series isn't my cup of tea yet, but the previous stuff with Dennis Hopeless, fantastic. Right? Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. All okay. these all these characters have been <laughs> diversified from the original point. Right. And it, even Miles Morales as um I think he's been the most popular out of all the diverse characters. But they've spent time building that up. You kind of just spoon feed us a new character and say it's Batman. I don't particularly... Maybe maybe it's because... I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't have a lot of African-American friends where I live. It's fine. But Mm. what I'm saying is I don't see the point. I doesn't... For me, Batman's Bruce Wayne. I don't. It doesn't matter. You could call it. You I, could call it. You could call it Diet Coke. Is in the in, in the back mask. It wouldn't matter. You could call it Doctor Pepper. It doesn't matter. It's still. Yeah. Bruce. It's 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 kind of like we said. They they just abandon these these characters. Kind of like Duke. What happened to Duke? He yeah. went off and became Signal, and then they just dropped him. Like, yeah. why well, aren't I, you speaking with him? Why aren't you building him up? Why didn't you make him Batman? Why did you just abandon Duke? Because they—that's what happens—is they create these characters in the name of diversity, and then they just drop them to when they're fair, not as popular as the originals. The drop, the drop them thing, I, I get because some of these characters are synonymous with the creators that made them. So, for example, yeah. you've got Snyder who created Duke, and you've got Snyder who created Bluebird. Without Snyder's input anywhere along the lines, those characters very rarely get used, and a lot of times you don't want to use those characters if. They're going to not be as strong as they were originally created for. If that makes sense, um, yeah. from my point of view, at least. Um, the amount of times you see one character of so one writer will write Bane, for example, and it'll be perfect. You'd be like, "Yeah, that's Bane." The next time Tom King gets it, he's walking around naked for an issue. It's <laughs> you know, it's like you know, different people do different things. So I, 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 I can get that point of view, but I, I, I kind yeah. of agree. If you're going to create character, you know, you got to stick with the. The highs and the lows. Detective Comics has almost been cancelled more times than I've had hot dinners, and that's the that's one of the big books from DC. You yeah. know, it was, it was looking to get cancelled um, in the late five hundreds. So, well, and I think the thing to keep in mind with with all of these books is when, <clears throat> just and this is probably more hypothetical, but when they came up with the idea of hey, this is what we're going to do in 
2021. It's not like they came up with this idea in December. Mm. You know, this has been in the works for who knows how long. So you look back and it was, you know, year and a half ago was more diversity, more diversity, more diversity. Mm. Now this is just kind of the ramifications of that. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing random shit out there. Well, we'll see. (laughs) Nice. Um, We'll see what happens, I guess. Um, Right. Okay, we'll move on to our next book. Hopefully a little less contentious. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, We are going... um, We're going to go through the Speed Force. Future State, The Flash, number one. Written by Brandon V... uh, Brandon Vetti. Art by Dale Eaglesham. Colours by Mike Atia and letters by Steve Wands, who's pulling double duty because he's just finished doing the Outsiders book. Josh, this was your choice. I want to say, damn it, Josh, but never mind. Take it away. What did you think of this book? (laughs) (laughs) So... (sighs) The, the short, I'll, I'll try to make this quick. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the speedsters have lost the speed force, so they have to rely on technology to, to run. Wally West is the bad guy. Again. I mean, I, I mean, the colors were nice. And their faces were actually put together the way that they were supposed to compared to the last book. Okay. I just, about halfway through the book, I was like, damn it. You managed halfway. Um, I, yeah, I got about halfway and then realized, oh, hell, Johnny and Frey's going to give me shit for this. <laughs> and then I had to read Swamp Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, again, it's a number one. It's setting the stage for the Flash world I feel like the CW would have done a better job <clears throat> I I just I I tried to give the flash an honest chance and I keep getting let down and I think I'm just gonna stop reading flash all right fair enough well done to everyone involved you've lost a uh, flash viewer well done. flash reader Freya I'll, I'll still look. keep going back to it. Let's be honest. I need another reason to say, damn it, Barry Allen. <laughs> yeah, damn it. Go on then, Freya. We're all sitting comfortably. I got my drink. We're good. Uh, okay, so at least art's better than Batman. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> the colors are nice. The art was um, nicer. I didn't know that Wally was a blonde, but let's go. <laughs> I thought he was ginger. You know, I, on the cover, I thought, he's yeah, I thought he was ginger. I was like, who who the crap is that? I was like, that's not Wally. Wally's a ginger. Then you open oh, the book and he's a redhead. So I'm like, I don't do they just not know their character that they're drawing? Because I'm a little confused. So and then I don't know. I don't the, what is this guy's name? Like the uh the calculate what is the crap is this guy's name? It's a calculator. Yeah, it, I was like he has got to be the dumbest villain besides like condiment King. Like this guy is, he shoots lasers out of a calculator. I'm like, Oh, okay. <laughs> also, what, what? I wonder what laser comes out when he types in boobies and turns the calculator <laughs> upside down. <laughs> uh, well, also, I was confused. Cause they're like, we don't have our powers anymore because Wally took them. I'm like, but he didn't kill you. Okay. That's all right. But so he took their powers, and then they, they're fighting their supervillain, stealing their stuff, and they have the bright idea to bring a child with them with no superpowers. <laughs> hey, he's been working for Batman for years, so, you know. If I know, but he's a child. He's a child with no superpowers now. So like, yeah, with Robin. <laughs> yeah, well, that was because Bruce is a little bit different, and I was just, yeah, and then he gets killed by a rainbow. Take that as it will, but like... <laughs> <laughs> this whole book was weird. I don't I don't get it. Um I don't know why they have to be so mean to Wally, this poor guy. 
<laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> like, point. Completely screwed over the entire time. Like he's dying. He's trapped in the speed force. He gets out of the speed force. And he, you know, is having heart attacks. And like, what, why do they hate Wally so much? Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's an odd one. Bless his cotton socks. You're absolutely right. You know, he's <laughs> he was the first sidekick to move into his mentor's role. Yeah. You know, he took over the flashbook for 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 years. Mm-hmm. And now he's getting treated like some sort of pariah. It's, it's, it's as if DC, when they created the other Wally West, the Wallace West, didn't know what to do with him. Right? So he's been trapped. He comes back, gets heart attack. Then he has a mental breakdown and kills loads of people and heroes in crisis. Now in future state, he goes back and kills loads of people. Yeah, I know. It's like, come on, guys, give the guy a break. Also, I'm not reading Flash. Is anybody reading Flash a lot recently? Nope. Josh? <laughs> I've read more Red Hood than I've read Flash lately. Uh, okay, so I don't understand, because this is the future. All right? I don't understand how we've got Jay Garrick and you've got Max Mercury in this book when you think Jay Garrick's not even a member of the current continuity. What's going on there? I don't yeah, I was confused supposed, too. This is supposed to be the future. Uh, it's like you, shouldn't he like passed away at this point? No, well, the speed force keeps him young. No, well, I mean, he, he got that silver fox thing going on, but I mean, it, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, I don't make this up. Um, so I was kind of confused by that uh, from the get go. The art was awful. It reads like something from the from from early days. It's like nineties art, nineties fill of annual art. It just no stop, please. It's hurting my eyes. Um, yeah, I was, Josh. I was like, you know, I, I don't know how you dare pick this. Like, yeah, hashtag damn it, Barry Allen. <sighs> It's a, it, for me, this was a big, a big miss. I will be picking up number two. So. Yeah, I, I think we're all going to get the speed force and run away from this book, which is more than what Barry Allen can say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we're the spaces at this point. <laughs> right, okay. Um, there's two down. We'll see how many we can get to after the break. Uh, here's a chance for you to check out one of our um, other pods. This is going to be Crisis. In Toyverse, so if you like your figures, even if, even if the Flash figures, it's fine. Check a look out of what our guy Bobo does here. Hit it. All right. Okay. So at the start of the pod, I mentioned that the, the next Batman was probably one of the biggest um, reveals for this whole future state. Uh, there is, there is um, a challenger to said throne, and that is, of course, um, the new, the very new Wonder Woman. All right. So let me bring up some details for you. This future state Wonder Woman. Written by Joelle Jones, art by Joelle Jones, who we all saw on Catwoman. All right, excellent. Colors by the excellent Georgie Belair. Uh, letters by Clayton. I'm sure I'm not claiming enough paychecks off DC. Cows. <laughs> <laughs> who gets around, man? The dude gets around. All right, okay, so here we go. Wonder Woman. Um, I'm going to give my quick a quick sense on this. I am glad to see Wonder Woman back in the leotard. Just saying, yeah. I'm I'm done with the Greco-Roman stuff. Boom, there you go. Bring on the hot pants, Freya. A new Wonder Woman. 
<clears throat> is, she, is she is better for you than the new Batman, perhaps? Um, nope. <laughs> so if we're going to be completely honest, I actually like her a lot. I like this character. I like her than mm -hmm. the original Wonder Woman. I'm like, I like her better. Because my... Yeah, I know blasphemy. But the thing is, she was kind of giving me um, Xena Warrior Princess vibes through mm -hmm. this whole thing. She kind of got that cocky attitude. I think that's what it is. I like her personality in this book. I don't, uh, you know, she's not, you know, all powerful. She's flawed, which I like. I like my characters being flawed and then, you know, developing. I like characters with story arcs. Mm -hmm. um, so I like her. I do like the leotard. I like her outfit. Um, uh, I like her horse Jerry, which mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, uh, Jerry. <laughs> but yeah, I like her. Um, so um, and but like I, I'm not gonna let her just because I like the character and everything. See, and this is like diversity done right because she's really well done in this That's issue, great. and this was what I was hoping for like the Batman issue to be like. You know, not really mm -hmm. fluffy. It's about the new character because we're introducing a new character and it's just them. They're not jumping around to like down in Hades or anything stupid like that. We are just following her and mm -hmm. her character. We're getting her character development. We're getting her personality, you know, and um, I really like it. Um, however, the art, um, even though I like most of it, um, especially that one where she's cutting the Hydra's head off, it goes mm -hmm. red, and I like the colorization, and I like the green. I like her facial expression. Um, in the very first panel, when she's like, I don't know what's wrong with her hand. It just looks wonky to me um, on page two, three. <laughs> They've been showing you my good hand. <laughs> her, her hand just kind of looks a little weird. I don't know what it is. It's just looking a little freaky. Um, and then there's little things like that throughout the book that's just kind of like... Um, yeah, that's a little weird, uh, but I'm going to forgive Bit, which is really odd because you, they're making me like a Wonder Woman character, which is really difficult for me to, you know, so, um, yeah, I'm, well, then her proportions get kind of wonky on page 17 because all of a sudden she be, kind of comes a little more, um, I don't know, she looks, I, I don't know, on 17, where she's with the little, the uh, Oh, yeah. I don't know. There's something her. She just kind of looks off on page 17, where she's oh. walking. The other girl's riding the pig. I think it's after that. Oh, it oh yeah. I don't know what happened there, but it, she starts looking wonky. I don't know what it is. She got a little stumpy. It's fine. That's yeah. Fine. <laughs> so, but I like the story. It's a nice build up. She's like I said, not perfect. She's kind of a punk. She's trying to steal the sumo wrestlers. You know money to pay the ferryman on the river Styx to go to Hades. And yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to it. Cause I like having characters that are kind of punks. <laughs> For a lack of uh, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, Josh. This book is absolutely fantastic. Okay. I, I am. I'm with Freya. I, I like this wonder woman more than Diana. And I'm, I'm sorry, but Diana does not have a Pegasus named Jerry. <laughs> that was the greatest name they could have ever come up with. Like, I now want a Funko Pop of Jerry with Wonder Woman. <laughs> um, I, I just, I, I enjoyed the book. The, the fight against the Hydra was fantastic. I mean, what, what more do you want? You got action. You got sass. This is the honestly the perfect Wonder Woman, you know, to to take a, a mantle and pass it on to someone new. They nailed it with Wonder Woman. They botched it up with with Batman, but they got it with Wonder Woman. And honestly, this. Makes up for the debacle, the the whole 1984. Blah. <laughs> so I I'm really excited about this Wonder Woman. I will definitely read more, just because I yeah. like what they've done. Um, I actually didn't mind 
kind of the the abstract art style especially when she's cutting off the the head and you just see the look on her face of yeah this is fun um i mean that that was one of the moments in batman v superman when wonder woman gets knocked down from doomsday and she has that like grin on her face like oh yeah let, let's do this and then goes that was the excitement i got from that moment was the same that i got on this panel right here um yeah, all in all, just job well done. I like the whole, we're going to call it the bola of truth. So it's not okay. really a, a lasso, it's more of a bola. And I really, for whatever reason, I thought that was a well-played move to change up that weapon and her not just having a lasso of truth and swinging around on lightning bolts and acting like she's Spider-Man. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm bringing up horrible uh, 1984 memories. You, you've, you've got like some PTSD going on there. <laughs> Fanny packs and parachute pants. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, so for my two cents, I will say, um, you know, it's, it's odd. One of the things I love about comic books is with how different creators get to try different things. All right. I read, um, I'm going all flip side here for a second. I read The Lady Killers from Dark Horse by Joelle Jones. Mm -hmm. um, and that book, I've made it the first series was co written, but that book, fantastic. Gorgeous mm -hmm. art, clever little one liners, bit of sass in there, super violent. Um, I liked Supergirl being human. I took a lot of grief off you guys for saying that, but I liked it. When she came on to Catwoman, I expected big things from Joelle Jones, and I think we were all a little bit disappointed by that book. Mm -hmm. um, man, does she fit this book well, though, right? Mm -hmm. This book this book blows bats out of the water by a million. So this if, let, I guess, let, let me put it this way. If they were to make a dedicated Wonder Woman game, model it after God of War, and have this Wonder Woman as your main character. I think I, I'd play the shit out of that. Well, so the good thing, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's all fresh and new. I liked how they kind of gave you an alternate version, so it's not, it's not gods, it's mm -hmm. demons, and they gave you other aspects <laughs> that have a nice mirror to to Wonder Woman's replace Diana, maybe not work together co alongside definitely definitely yeah. and um, i just want to say because some people are going to be going well why is it okay for one person to take you know the wonder woman mantle well the thing about wonder woman and, and not batman so the thing about wonder woman versus batman is the wonder woman title has always been a mantle diana earned that mantle in themiscara she she was granted that <laughs> mantle of wonder woman she wasn't the Wonder Woman, she she earned it, you know, through mm -hmm. the contest and whatnot. So the Wonder Woman name and title has always been a mantle. Batman, on the other hand, was not a mantle. Bruce created Batman. So Bruce is Batman. Um, and that's why uh, with Wonder Woman, we're more open to, you know, some random person that they created becoming Wonder Woman because Wonder Woman isn't specifically Diana. You know, Perfect. she's the first Wonder Woman that we know of, but she earned a mantle. Um, she earned the lasso. She she earned the armor, you know. Well, unless you're going by the movies, then she stole the lasso. She stole the armor. <laughs> but, well, this is you know. absolutely, you're absolutely right. I mean, Diana has been replaced as Wonder Woman before. Artemis has been yeah. Wonder Woman for a while. Um, again, the challenge, Artemis earned the right to become, to wear the... The, the, the stuff. Yeah, the union, the union, the flag, the flag of America on her ass. She had the right to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, go for your life. Um, you know, and of course, you've had Hippolyta uh, retroactively added to the Justice Society to show that one woman was in there as well. So, you know, um, yeah, it's a good point to make. It's an absolutely good point. The fact is that these two characters aren't that related. One's got Greek gods, the other one's dealing with demons and and angels. So it's kind of there's a mirror. It's a mirror, definitely, 
but they're not related. It's not like she's gone up to Themyscira to get it. You know, it's not Cassie Sandsmark, for example. It's not Donna Troy. You know, it's not linked to the original Wonder Woman mythos. This is a this is a different character, a different set of circumstances, a different set of guidance, as it were. Um, and yes, they're using the same tagline. You know, but isn't the idea of Wonder Woman and empowerment that every woman can be wonderful? Is that not how? Is that not? Have I missed the point somewhere along the line? Every woman could be Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Isn't that, isn't, isn't that one of the tags? Isn't that what it's supposed to stand up for? Uh, so yeah, Wonder Woman, um, huge success. Uh, if this becomes a regular book, I will be buying it as long as Joel St Jones stays on it because mm -hmm. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. That for, uh, there's two covers for this. I'm not even sure why you'd look at the second one. The first one's perfect. Just get just get the air cover. Boof. Yeah, job, job. Yeah. Done. All right, we have time for one more. Um, right, Freya, you suggested something. Yay, something. Well, something. Yeah, it's uh, chose Harley. <laughs> you know what? I'll say this quickly about Harley. I like the writing in Harley. I just didn't like the art. So. See, and I'm the opposite. I like the art because it was very anime-ish. Obviously, yeah. it had flaws, but we don't have time to go over that. Yeah. But I do like the anime art style um, and the lighting and everything they have. Um, I didn't like the the choice, uh, the character design for Harley, but I did like the character design for Black Mask. Uh -huh. And that's all I'm going to say about Harley because we don't have time about that. Josh, so. Harley, you in there? Quickly. <sighs> Harley Quinn meets Batman Beyond. There you go. There you go. Cool. That, that that was honestly what ran through my head as I was reading it. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe look, almost, almost a nine panel page for you, Johnny. Almost. That was just that would have uh, sent me over the deep end. All right, okay. So back to the shot. <laughs> Future State, uh, Swamp Thing, written by the current Justice League Dark writer Ram V, um, art by Mike Perkins, colors by June Chung. And letters by Adita Bidika. Freya, yeah. what on earth were you smoking when you picked this? Well, I could have picked Harley. So, hey, you um, like Harley? So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I could have picked Harley, and you guys would have had to read. Well, we would have read this anyway. So, um, the thing about this, plus we need something that's not the usual characters. Um, yeah. One thing: the art style is very. Um, you know, Lucifer-ish, you know, that type of comic book. So don't expect it to look like all the others. And so I kind of gave it some leeway because I was expecting it to look a little different. And mm -hmm. it did. Um, it, it has that Sandman type of vibe to it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you just kind of go in feeling like that. Um, I was kind of confused at first because now there's a bunch of race of tree people. Um, so... I guess he created them. And that for some reason he's looking for humans, which doesn't really make any sense to me because Swamp Thing was anyway. Um, but at the very end, spoiler, it kind of looks like we're going to have uh, what Dr. Fate again or Could someone, I, I can't, it kind of looks like fate, but um, well, fate was alluded to earlier in the comic, wasn't he? When yeah, about, so, yeah. They have like a, a fate on there. So, yeah, so it's just kind of Swamp Thing's looking for humans. Um, he hasn't explained why, but he is. And he doesn't also explain how um, on page 16 that other tree person got gutted because, well, they're tree people. So mm. I don't I don't get it. <laughs> just, I don't know how he died, to be perfectly honest, if he's a plant. Mm. Um, also, there's this uh, other tree within, I don't know, this whole story, it, it was a lead up to something. It was just a bunch of questions and no answers, though. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I didn't hate it, but it was just kind of one of those meh books. Like, it, I don't know. All right. Okay. Um, Josh, Swamp Thing, is it doing it for you? Confused the hell out of me. There was just so much going on like trying to keep track of the story and then the artwork was just all over the place like th there was just too much going on i feel like with comic books now it's almost 
less is more. Yeah. And I, I get they're trying to take the, you know, trying to make it more organic because that's who Swamp Thing is. But yeah. there, there needs to be, and Swamp Thing always talks about, there needs to be balance in, mm. you know, in everything. And that book does not, this book does not do that because there's just so much going on just in the artwork alone. And then to try and keep up with the story, I honestly, I just, I got lost. So, but I've never, then again, I've never really been a huge Swamp Thing fan. And so it is kind of difficult for me to be like, cool, I'm so ready to read the future state. Let's read Swamp Thing. <laughs> you know, I just I I can't I I I can't do it. I mean, yeah, they're putting out all these all these new books trying to cover a wide market of readers. Mm -hmm. And there's gonna be some books that you're gonna be okay taking and some books you're okay leaving. And this just happens to be one of those books that I personally am leaving. Nothing against it. It's just not my cup of tea. There you go. Okay. Um, right. So I'm a big Ram V fan. I've enjoyed his independent stuff. Um, it's good to see him take a break away from um, Justice League Dark, um, where he's not sort of kind of shackled to a range of characters. There's enough going on in this book to make me curious as to what goes or what's going on um, i'll probably check out the second issue i like the art i thought the art was was spooky enough um i did think there was a there's a juxtaposition in quality the the majority of it felt a little bit like um eddie barrow's work um but then when you see like the little girl plant face mm -hmm. she uh, that 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 those panels with her in are fantastic, really well done. And then others are just not as not as thorough. Um, so it kind of the, the the mix kind of threw me for a little bit there. Um, but that all in all, um, it was a solid read. I agree, Josh. I had no idea what the hell was going on. So it'd be interesting to see um, to see how things are going to play out in the next issue. But mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, so yeah, I think it was a, I think it was a, a solid read. I think it's probably my if you if you talk about the six books, this is probably in the middle. Yeah, for me it goes something like Wonder Woman, Batman, this, yeah, then Harley, yeah, and then the last one which we we haven't really talked about, but there is um, there is a Superman book out also um, this week. Um, let me just give up some credits. We talked quickly about Harley. Um, we'll give you the writer is Stephanie Phillips, who I absolutely love on her indie stuff. The art is Simone DeMeo, um, colors by Tamara Bonvillain, and letters by ALW's Troy Patiri. There you go. Um, Future State Superman is actually Superboy taking Superman's place. It's written by Sean Lewis, art by John Thames, colors by Gabe Altib, and letters by Dave Sharp. Do you guys have a chance to look over? Um, Superman, I did. I, I I don't know if this is just me, but I have an issue with the design of Jonathan Kent um, as um, as Superman. He, he just reminds me of Clark from Flashpoint Paradox, where he's all scrawny and shit. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so it, that kind of weirds me out a little bit because I'm like. When you think Superman is supposed to be kind of big, bulky, and he's just lanky. Well, just to throw this kind of perception point in at you, just for a quick conversation piece, um, you know, this isn't full Kryptonian. This is he's half human, half Kryptonian. So yeah, that, no, I, I, so that belt, that belt image might might be a way to show that through the art that he's not, you know, the bombastic. You know, Superman is more of a superish man. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, there, they, and, and this book, there, there was a lot going on. A yeah. lot. But I feel that that's been with Superman books, especially when they go to the Fortress of Solitude. There's a lot going on. Um, I don't know if I could put any more emphasis on a lot going on. <laughs> Freya, Superman. <laughs> you, you hate Superman almost as much as you hate Wonder Woman. Is that right? Yeah. So this one, I don't know. I think I just like John a little bit better than Clark. But um, yeah, I agree with Josh. There's just so much going on um i do like the design though of uh superman or uh, super is he superman now i don't know yeah of john. I'm, gonna of the Metropolis. I'm gonna just call him john i like him without the cape um i like the design um i like how he looks i like his hair so um but yeah story-wise there's just too much going on I kind of got lost halfway through and I'm like, okay. Um, and then this book also kind of fell into the trap that Batman's book fell into that. It has these ec extra stories in there too, for some reason. Mm -hmm. And I did not like the extra stories at all. <sighs> I didn't like the Mr. Mir. I hated the Mr. Miracle one. I'm going to yeah. be completely honest that are oh, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be hey, I'll be honest. I stopped at Superman. I was like, right, done. I flipped through and I saw Mr. Miracle. I was like, yep, nope, I'm done. I'm out. Yeah, and it's it's one of those things. It's the Shiloh Mr. Miracle. It's not the the New Gods Mr. Miracle. Right. So I, I was like, because like it's Shiloh Norman, you know, Mr. Miracle. I'm like, why even wear your freaking mask if everyone knows who you are? This is stupid. <laughs> Because DC does not have secret identities anymore. It's dumb. It's stupid. What's the point of wearing a mask then? It, it, it just and I I didn't like it. And then I guess there was another story of who is this character? Do you know Josh? No, no. I, That's Guardian. I, That's Guardian. Uh, oh, so is this DC it, it, uh, like a cap? Yeah, so Guardian was very much a, he's like a normal normal dude who has like a, like the suit and the shield. It's very much uh, it was, at one point he was a member of Cadmus, which was a clone society. So yeah, yeah. Guardian, there, there's too much Guardian. yeah, there's just too much cap uh, remnant like remnants with with him and I uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So um, I like the new design for Superwoman, Supergirl. Obviously, that's going to change again for a new book. Um, I don't know why it is. It's funny because it, 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 there's like an odd odd mix going on. The Batman book, not enough information. Flash book, pointless information. Superman has probably got the most mm -hmm. dialogue, the most setup to get through over everything. Because I don't, you're having, I don't know. To, you're having to get from point A to the, the Superman we know to this new Superman and the new situation. Whereas Wonder Woman didn't have a great deal because it's a new character, so you can do it at your own pace. It doesn't have to tie into anything else. It doesn't have to mix across. It's just, boof, there's your solo story. That's why Wonder Woman is the best out of this bunch so far because it doesn't have any other ties anywhere else. Honestly, I, I would say Swamp Thing probably has a tie the with Superman as far as the um, just the amount of stuff going on. Yeah. Um, but I think for Wonder Woman because yeah it's a new character but it was just it was done right. So yeah. question because of how the world is in Swamp Thing's future state, does that mean that he's farther into the future than everyone else? That's a good question. I have no idea. Stay tuned for the next four <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so what, what I will say is that the blurb, the blurb on the front of all of these books is these are the unwritten stories of DC's multiverse future. So okay. there might not be, there might not be real, or there might not be Earth Prime. It could be, you know, Earth Swamp versus yeah, whatever. We already, we already have the deceased book too. Oh, yeah. 
and then we have going on right now. Yeah, yeah, so you know, this is DC. At it's hey, I've got a good idea. Let's run it into the ground at its best. There you go. So there you go, Miss Mixed Bag for Future State. Uh, stay tuned for the next show in a couple of weeks where we'll have the next round of books plus uh, a couple more probably. Um, interesting to see. I know Detective Comics is coming out, so we'll see Bruce in his own future state and see how that goes. Um, all that's left for me to say, as always, is Freya, thank you very much for joining us. No, you're no problem. I have fun. No Excellent. Josh, pleasure as always, sir. Absolutely. Anytime. Excellent. So, guys, remember to check out the UCPN for all your favorite podcasts. It's 2021. New shows are coming. That includes Josh. Oh, we got Flipside Focus. And I'm actually proud to announce that we will have, for those of you who are fans of Magic the Gathering, we will be having a Magic the Gathering show coming out this year. Ooh, very good. I might even have to get a couple of packs now and find out what the hell's going on with that game. Mm -hmm. Freya? You, and back with yeah, I'm with K-Pop Cosmo still. Excellent. Sorry. Excellent. <laughs> And don't forget to check out, of course, the Old Timers Comic Book Show exclusively on YouTube, where we get to talk, all these get to talk about old books. Freya, you're not allowed to join. No, oh, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're too young. Although you are cranky to make the same as us, so that's, that's all. I, 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 hey, I, I act like an old lady, so I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All that's left for me to say is uh, adios and see you next time.